Hi, I'm Dan Eskin with Bentley Systems. In this video, I'll show you how to navigate the Open Roads Designer interface. New to the Connect editions of Bentley software is the ribbon interface. The ribbon interface is a familiar interface used by many popular software packages. The ribbon interface consists of tabs, groups, and commands. The tabs are on the top and they are broken down into categories. Under each tab, we have groups. In this case, we have civil cells and as a group. We have 3D tools as a group. And in each group, there are the commands. The ribbon tabs organize the commands into logical groups. If I want to create geometry, I would click the geometry tab and then pick the commands from the groups that I need to create the geometry. If I would like to create corridors, I pick the corridor tab and all of the corridor commands are in that tab. The ribbon can be easily modified by right clicking on the ribbon group. If I right click on any group, I can turn on and off commands. If I do not use the copy template, copy template drop command, I can turn that off and it will be removed from here. If I want to put it back, I simply click on it again and put a check mark next to it, it comes back. I can also resize the group. I can make the, the icons in the group smaller. I can make them larger by customizing them that way. I can also go and add new commands using the customize ribbon to each group and rearrange uh, the content of each tab. In the upper left hand corner of the interface are the workflows. The workflow is used to change the ribbon to accommodate different functions of the software. If I was a uh, using the software to process a survey, I would come to the workflow and change this to survey, and that would change all of the tabs and groups and commands to match a survey workflow. Next to the workflow is the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is visible regardless of what workflow or ribbon tab you are using. This is a place where the default commands that are come in here, although they are customized, are open, save, save settings, undo, redo, print, etc. There is a little pull down right here where I can turn on and off commands that are available to me. And also I can customize this to put any commands that I want. The advantage of this, of course, is when I change tabs, I still have access to all of these commands here. If I change workflows, I also still have access to the same commands. So these are where you would put your most common commands, ones that you would want to have access to all the time. The search ribbon tool is located in the upper right portion of the interface. The search ribbon tool is used to easily search for commands in the ribbon. Simply click in, in this field right here and type in any word that contained within the command. I'll type in arc, and these are all the results that came back. If you hold your cursor over top of one of these results, you will see where the commands are located. It starts here with the workflow, followed by the tab, followed by the group, followed by the commands that are relate to that. If you want to move to that group, you can simply click on that line right there and that will take you to that group uh, through the interface or if you actually click on the command itself it will start the command immediately. Also you can pull back any other commands that you have typed in here and be able to uh, use those commands from this list. These are the a history of the ones that I have typed in. The file tab otherwise known as the backstage, is used to access the file management commands. Just simply click on the file tab and that takes me to the backstage. Backstage is to use to access commands like save as, new, close, 
And also, this is where the settings are also accessed. If I click on the settings on the left side here, we have settings for, that are pertain to the user. That would be the individual using the software, your system, file. This is related to the actual file itself, changing the properties of the file. And also configuration is also found in this area. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.